Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Hope you all are doing extremely well. So today in this video, we are going to discuss about the concepts, uh, some short tricks and the important topics that will be helpful for the pseudo code solving, right? So you must be knowing that pseudo code has been asked in multiple companies like as Infosys, Accenture and many other companies. And nowadays Infosys is hiring a lot. You must have heard about a new hiring that is from Infosys. So I'm sure that this video will be helpful for you. So make sure to watch the complete video and do share the video with your friends as well those who are preparing for the Infosys exam but before proceeding further if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed my channel till now then guys do consider subscribing my channel it will really motivate me to make more such content for you and make sure to join our telegram community as well the link for the telegram channel is given in the description itself so make sure to join right so before proceeding further here's a quick update for all of you so let's have a look so guys here I want to tell you about Campus Mantri program from Geeks for Geeks. So you will be recognized as the nominated Mantri of your campus and your duty will be to help the students of your constituency. Opportunity to work in proximity with one of the most dynamic digital ad tech platform. Career counseling opportunity with the head of the parliament Mr. Sandeep Jain and other top ministers get a chance to be a part of law making. Since you will be joining us in the parliament your opinion matters to us. You get early access to new online courses being launched by Geeks for Geeks. We are all ears for your uh, review feedback and suggestion what are the perks of being a campus monthly so quarterly monetary benefits in the form of amazon gift vouchers lots of goodies and other items throughout the year via performance in various events you get to be a dignified representative and the poc for your campus opportunity to apply for a paid internship at gfg in any domain so this is an opportunity from geeks for geeks if you're interested for the same then make sure to apply the link is provided in the description itself so yeah let's proceed with the content now uh, so guys, first of all, let me mention the topics here, right? So if you have gone through the, if you have gone through the pseudo code question that has been asked in Infosys or Essential, you must know that what are the topics that you have to work on. First of all, bitwise operators, bitwise operators, logical operators, that is and or and all, right? Loops loops fourth is your recursion recursion sometimes they do have question from data structure as well probably from q q and stack right generally what you, you must have noticed q and stack and array as well and array right so i believe from these things only from these things only your you know like uh, your pseudo code will be covered so in bitwise operators what you have to, what you have to, you know, you should be having the understanding of what? Zor operator. Okay, right shift operator. Right shift. Left shift. Left shift operator. Right bitwise and bitwise or. And similarly here as well, you should know logical and logical or not as well. In loops, you will be having for loop, while loop recursion like how the call will be done and also all such thing you should be having a proper understanding for the scene and generally what they do as from the data structure part for q stack and array generally normally manipulation kind of questions will be here that if for some data has been removed from q or some data has been removed from a stack some operations has been done push pop in q to q and all those type of questions will be there right now First of all, you have to, you know, you should be having a proper understanding of bitwise operator because generally the questions are from these only and the high chances of making the question, you know, you will be doing the question wrong in case of bitwise operators only. That's what I believe. So that's why you make sure to brush up your knowledge on these. Also, generally sometimes what happens if you have solved the question that some statements, some statements that are there in the question, they are redundant. Let me give you an example. So, for example, I am doing a equal to a equal to a with y and with b, okay, plus thirty, right? And then on the next line itself, what I am doing, I am having a variable b equal to ten. So, b plus twelve. Now, just tell me one thing. Does it actually make sense? Will it make sense if I am solving this line? Just think about it. 
pause the video think about it and let me know in the comment section it will make sense or not no why so because on the next line itself we are updating the value of a and nowhere we are using the previous previous calculated value of a are we using here no we are simply using b right that is zero and 12 so there is no role of the previous value of a so no matter whether if you have calculated or not this result that we are storing this result that we are storing in a is not going to be affected with the previous value of a so if you are solving this line you are just simply you know i can say wasting your time because you can say this is not contributing anything in the result so even the in the pseudo code also even i have solved i have given the exams and i have seen as well like when i'm making the video for you guys that many in many of the pseudo codes such a difficult type of lines has been added right this one i i find it this one is sort of easy but you know some complex operation is there using bitwise operators only right and on the next line itself they are doing some operation like this so this is just to check that's why it's very very important first to understand the question it's not directly you are you know jumping over the solution let's solve it understand the question as well so here if someone will use a, you know little of humor he will he or she will be able to find out okay this line is useless so i can directly solve this one and this is very easy this will take time but not this one so you have to check these kind of things as well these kind of these kind of statements as well so this is what useless statement i would say because that is not contributing anything in the result so you have to check for these as well because time is also one thing due in these exam time is also one thing that matters so instead along with solving the question you have to manage time as well so that because uh, later on you are not later on you are not running short on time because some questions are obviously you know time consuming loops related question are there they are time consuming so better to invest the time in those questions that actually need the time instead of investing the time in these kind of question you know if you are solving this part so obviously it will take time and at the end it's not contributing any anything in the result so you know like what it is going to be so make sure to read the question as well that has been given to you to give you a short idea to give you a short idea about all these things because as if in the video i'm going to focus on these important things rest i know question you can solve and I, even i have done some videos related to pseudo code so you can just watch them almost the questions are same there is nothing so special or different maybe the naming naming of the name of the variable is different and all these things are there otherwise the concepts are almost same that i just listed here in the slide so for zor operator you should know that how does it work how zor operator work so when we are having similar bits one one zero zero zor zor is what zor is a binary operator right it zor is a binary operator so if here we are having you can see one one zero zero okay so one zor with one what would be the output what would be the output for this the output would be zero because the bits are similar when we are having zero zor with zero here also the bits are similar output would be zero when we are having dissimilar bits like as this one zor with zero and zero zor with one so dissimilar bits are there so the output will be one right i hope that is clear so this is what happened in zor operator okay right shift let's talk about a right shift and left shift as well so left shift operator first of all let's discuss about this left shift so if uh, let's say like this so this is the symbol this is the symbol of left shift operator okay this is the symbol of the left shift operator it takes two operands this is the first operand and this is the second operand so here what we are doing is x left shift by y that is what we are saying take two numbers left shift the bits of the first number that is x the second operand will decide the number of places to shift so this is the first operand to which what we are doing is we are doing the left shifting of the bits of the first operand and the second operand that is y here that will determine the number of places to shift okay now that is equivalent to what if i would say that is equivalent to what a normal simple so formula is here that will be helping you to find out the answer that is x multiply by 2 pi power y right 
right for example if i'm writing two left shift one two left shift one so what would be the output for the scene just simply use this two into two pay power y so the output would be what four right similarly we have right shift so let's discuss about that as well so this is what right shift operator right so here also we'll be taking two operands first operand and the second operand now here what we are mentioning is right shift right shift the bits of the first operand and the second operand is going to do what it will decide the number of spaces to shift now what's the formula for this one what's the formula for this one do you know it okay let me tell you x divided by 2 pay power 5 x divided by 2 pay power 5 right for example let's say if we are having 32 right shift by 2 so what would be the output 32 divided by 2 pay power 2 that is 32 divided by 4 and the output would be what 8 right so this is what left shift right shift and uh, bitwise operators as if i discuss in bitwise or what do we have so if any of the operand is 1 if any of the operand is 1 the output would be 1 itself in bitwise end what do we have so if both the operands are one only that in that case the output would be output would be what one otherwise it is going to be otherwise it is going to be zero only okay i hope that is clear for logical end you must be knowing for logical end logical or right so let's say if we are combining you know we are having a greater than four and b less than five and A is 6 and B is B let's say 8. So 6 is greater than 4. First this condition is true although this one is not true. So if both the conditions are true only then both expressions that we are having both they, they both are true only then the result the whole result that you are going to get that will be true. Or I can say true and true is only going to get true otherwise other combination like is true and false, false and false false and true they are going to give you what false itself as the output whereas in the case of here i'm talking about logical logical uh, whereas in the case of logical or so if we are having true or true output would be true true or false output would be true false or true output would be true false or false only when you you can say the both both the operands like from here also we are having false from here also we are having false only in that scenario the output would be false otherwise for rest of the scenario if any one is true the output the whole expression is going to give you as true as the output right so that's what the case is and we have another operator negation operator is just to revert the state okay so i hope that you must have got a, a sort of you know basic understanding and that's what only needed you need basic understanding only then we have recursion so recursion means many function is self calling itself you know it is on the like in recursion what do we have a base condition is there when you know agar, agar you'll be calling the function apne aapko bar bar call karta rahega, so it will you know it will go into infinite looping so that's why we have a base condition as well ki that uh, when that condition will meet hume ruk jana hai Chika, so that's what recursion is for re recursion related problems i would suggest ki aap kuch output based questions solve karke dekh sakte ho to practice otherwise that's also sort of easy only theek hai so mainly mainly ye part tha uh, acha okay do let me know if you want me to cover some questions as well for this video this was just about the concept but if you want me to make a uh, video where i'll be covering some questions where i'll be discussing some questions so then let me know as well also make sure to uh, you know support this video make sure to provide the comments that okay did you understood what i will be discussed in this video so that it will really motivate me and probably i'll be making more such videos for you guys so make sure to provide your feedback in the comment section and make sure to let me know if you want me to cover more such videos related to pseudo codes or what so yeah that's it from my side thank you for watching this video guys keep learning keep preparing bye bye